Hello, I'm Dale Harris and you're here watching my fuzz pedal test. What I've got here are four different fuzz types of pedal, some old, some new. Uh, this demo today is for my own purpose really, I'm just curious to try out different pedals. Uh, but I thought I'd film it, so if anybody out there finds it interesting, uh, then great. So um, I better explain what I'm doing. Um, I've got two guitars. Uh, one is a basic Strat type guitar with vintage spec pickups, Seymour Duncan's. And I've also got a Gibson Les Paul with this exact straight standard setup, no, no change of pickups or anything. Uh, and then I'm going into straight into a, 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 a switcher, a gig rig quartermaster. And from there, the four switches are engaging each of the four fuzz pedals that are on test. And then it goes out of there into an Effectrode Blackbird preamp, uh, which is on the clean channel. So uh, it's basically class A acting as my amplifier. It's going out of there into an atomic amplifier, uh, which is usually a simulator type uh, pedal, but I'm only using it to simulate a Celestian greenback speaker and these are actually the Celestian impulses loaded into it. So there's nothing else engaged in the box apart from the Celestian 4x12 greenback impulse. And from there, there's an effects loop and it's going round into the TC Hall of Fame reverb. And then I'm coming out of there direct into a recorder. So this is what you're going to hear. So this is the clean sound. And that was the rear pickup and the front pickup. Okay, so uh, I'm going to try some some of the pedals here. Um, the first pedal I've got here is quite possibly the oldest, uh, and it dates from about 1970, and it's a Solar Sound Fuzzwar. So not too common. What I notice, obviously, uh, there's an abundance of fuzz. Um, it saturates the sound, so if I use the rear pickup and then use the front pickup, there's not a great difference in sound. So I'm switching between the front and the rear pickups. So obviously tone there when you're going flat out um, is, you know, it's going to be irrelevant what, what pickup you're on, certainly on with a strap. I'm going to see what it's like when I back off slightly. So when you back off, more of the, pick, the sound of the pickup comes through. So 
So that's kind of interesting. Um, okay, I'm going to try the next one. So um, uh, the next one is a Moore Grey Fuzz. Uh, there's not too many controls on it. It's just a volume and a fuzz level. Uh, it's based on the Dallas Arbiter Fuzz Face. Um, so let's see what that's like. Again, rear pickup first. So what I notice immediately, uh, obviously there's more volume. Um, so I've set basically I've set the Mercury, the Big Muff, and the Grey Phase up with roughly the same level. There's a volume drop with the Solar Sound. Uh, so my immediate thought is, if I did ever use it, that I would use it with uh, some sort of boost afterwards, or use a, like a pre preamp pedal, some like an MXR boost or something, something simple. And the other thing is, obviously, there's a lot more, as, as well as the gain, there's obviously less fuzz than the solar sound. I'll try and make up for that by putting the fuzz right up. So it does definitely saturate. Switch the rear. And noticeable there, when you hit a chord, the saturation really increases. Just turning the fuzz down. So there's always going to be a compromise between how you're going to use the pedal here in this instance with the grey phase. Of course, the other way to do it is to turn the fuzz up more. And when you're playing chords, back off more, I guess. Still a lot of saturation on the lead tone. So uh, my thought would be to set the fuzz up to the point where if I did want saturation, I wouldn't want too much saturation. I wouldn't want the extra, the extra compression. So I've got it right there about the, as much as I'd probably want to use. If, so I would probably test it. And then find a point on the guitar where, where my chords would still sound okay if I want to use an E. Uh, yeah, so... Um, So that's the Moore Grey Phase. Uh, this is the Electro Harmonics Big Muff. So volume right the way up. Uh, 
Clearly a smoother sounding fuzz. Um, I've got the sustain, the fuzz level, quite low. I just turned it up. You can hear there, it's already straining. had the wicker on so uh, what I should explain about the big muff is I've got the the uh, the wicker version uh, and the when you've got the wicker on it uh, releases these or engages three higher EQ bands um, so you get a bit more lift and uh, there is a tone bypass uh, which I am not using so I'm using it more like a traditional muff at the moment Try more fuzz. So there's not a lot of saturation. So it's pretty, pretty wild sounding. For f Very um, smooth sounding. I'm going to try backing off the volume now. Okay, and finally, uh, the Mercury. Uh, it's an Effectrode panel um, uh, designed by Phil Taylor, um, and it's it's a uh, it's got a, a heat switch, uh, which the heat mode. Demonstrate it first. The heat, the heat mode uh, apparently um, makes it kind of choke. If I've got this the right way around, anyway, you can hear one way there's less fuzz, and then there's another way where there's more fuzz. And the more, f and where you've got the more fuzz, that's the usual, um, usual pedal setting. And when you've got the less fuzz, it's a choked setting, so it it, it mimics some of the older, the older fuzzes. <laughs> Apparently, it, 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 um, it kicks in a second stage.
So when the when the switch is down, you can hear it. It's kind of there. You can hear more compression. There's there's more dirt, and the when the switch is up. cleaner so and that's how I've used it right the way up to now and I believe that that is the regular setting with the switch up I will correct that if in a caption if I'm wrong I need to read the manual but I seem to remember before when I played it and I've gigged with it I've, I've, I've had the switch up so um, and I'm pretty sure I had, I was supposed to have it in um, the regular mode. My, my initial thoughts with the Mercury, and it's one of the reasons why I wanted to use it, is um, that it's a very clean sounding fuzz. So, uh, I mean, I'm on full volume. So it enables you to play with the dynamics, whereas I'm going to go back to the muff. Which is still okay, I'm going to go to the grey phase. I'm going to go back to the Mercury. So to me, the Mercury sounds the most natural. the fuzz rate. So there I'm backing the plectrum off. So I'm going to try the muff flat out now. And with the tone wicker, you can hear the noise. So 
it's almost unplayable at full fuzz with the wicker on. You have to back the fuzz off. So if you're looking for the most, the most fuzz, uh, then you don't use the wicker. Um, and then grey phase. Switching between the pedals. Mercury. Muff. Grey phase. Um, what I notice, uh, the muff has got a lower mid frequency it's peaking somewhere i don't know what it would be like 500 hertz or 600 hertz or something the mercury is peaking higher up probably something more like one kilohertz at a guess or maybe maybe higher maybe 1.5 um, the gray phase has got a sort of washed out sound so it's like it's been scooped through the mid-range so it's quite noticeable but then again you see it's modeled on the old the old fuzz face so um you did used to get a lot of uh, a lot of top end and less bottom end and that's the point in case here is with the with the the solar sound which now we've got the volume level drop virtually no bass so my immediate thought with the um, at least with the solar sound is if I did want to make use of it and go for a really really old 60s sound you know the early the early ish 60s um, then um, I would want to use that uh, with a boost definitely and I want to get a fairer test um, so you know if you're playing like something from Sgt Pepper or Magical Mystery Tour or something from the Beatles 67 68 type period uh, if you wanted to give this a good go you'd have to um, really give it a decent boost and um, see where you are with it but uh, unfortunately with, with the with the the solar sound you've got no you've got no control over the fuzz it's just on or off um so um anyway that was that was my test um the first half of the test with the strat um and what i'm going to do now is switch over to the les paul so start with the treble pickup first So this is my clean sound anyway. So I start with the solo sound fuzz. It's a really obvious volume drop. But a cool sound, definitely a cool, distinctive sound there. Grey phase.
not saturate there really badly. So it's kind of interesting. Muff. So the muff is a really big sound, it's really distinctive, it jumps out. The grey phase has got a completely different sound. Um, you could probably see why the muff is a very, very popular pedal. It had a personality all of its own, you kick it in and it's, you know it's, it's that. So finally the Mercury. So the Mercury's got what I'd say is more of a classic rock kind of feel to it. It's got a bite, um, it's got a presence to it. it. It's It's got the top end, so it's got the top end that's you know comparable uh, in a way to the grey phase, whereas the big muff's got this this oomph of, of mid-range. And the Mercury's a little more scooped uh, during the lower, the lower part of the mid-range, but it's in favour of the upper part, which just gives it more presence. My bet would be that the Mercury would would cut through in a band uh, a lot better than the muff. Depends on how you, what your band is like or uh, how you're going to use it and how many instruments there are and, and the rest of it and how you EQ it. But um, for, for a usable pedal, I'd say the Grey Phase and the Mercury, I'd probably trust more live than the big muff. I think I'd need to be the most obvious, if I was going to use the muff, I think I'd use it for a maybe a big sound on a, on a solo. Um, maybe I'd use it. Something with a singing sound, um, that would give it more presence. Um, but that scoop nature doesn't help in band. I imagine you need a lot of volume. Um, so anyway, back to the Mercury. Try backing the volume off a little bit.
So if I was going to back the volume off and I was going to play chords, I probably want to use it on the treble pickup. I'm not so sure that on the, on the front pickup that I'd be as that, that comfortable with it. No, I think I'd, I'd want some more bite. So it's definitely the usable backed off. So uh, that was the, the Mercury. So um, overall impressions, well, um, they've each got their own place. Um, it's just deciding on an application. So it, it's why it's nice to have a few pedals kicking around that if you get asked to do something and you need to have the right sound to go, then uh, you know which, which pedals, or you've got a good guess which pedals are going to work. Uh, so, uh, so, I mean, I like the Mercury uh, for, the, for, the, for the overall sound. I think it's the most reliable sound and, and in a, certainly in a live situation out of all of the pedals there. Um, I guess I'd use the Big Muff if I ever needed that really big singing sound and that, that thick, creamy kind of sound. Um, I'm not so sure about it at lower volumes. I think I need to experiment more with some other guitars and find something that really suits it. Um, which is the, the other point about using fuzz pedals is that whatever you, whatever your input is, the output of your your pickups makes a huge huge difference to to fuzz pedals. They're, they they in general they're very very sensitive. Uh, so I'll try it with some reverb. I'll put it on my um, what is it the mod. Give it a bit of modulation.
Anyway, that was uh, my fast pedal test. Um, I hope that was of use to you out there. Uh, if you're thinking of um, using any of these pedals, uh, hopefully it gives you a, a bit of an idea um, as to what they s might sound like with your rig. Uh, this is purely through my my regular rig um, that I'm also monitoring, by the way, with a little a little Marshall combo. Um, so I may introduce some of the room sound into the final mix um, from the from an actual amp as well as you hear in the direct Celestian outputs. It just depends what it sounds like. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, please remember to like and subscribe if you found this useful. I've got plenty of other types of videos on this channel, uh, including not just electric guitar, but a lot of classical guitar and finger picking styles and things and other reviews. So um, you'll probably find a lot here to uh, to look at. So anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.